How would I break a, a woman? I would get you to trust me. When I get you to trust me, then I come on in. Long before Harper would put his hands on a woman. Where you get your hair done at? He would charm her. You look sexy with them glasses on, girl. Like with his sexy. words. And I'm going to work to sell you a story, to sell you a dream, to make you feel that that's the guy I want. Some pimps go to great lengths to manipulate their victims. You know, hoping to pimp a girl. Undercover police sergeant Jason Diaz says they work hard to hide it. Incredibly charming. I mean, they seem like every other person. They've got a strong charisma about them. They have a gift of gab about them. And they honestly believe that they can manipulate you as well. Harper didn't waste his time trying to manipulate confident women. So I look how she's walking. He looked for the vulnerable ones. That's how you know one way. The women who were missing <laughs> something. You all right? Love, family, or something else he promised he could provide. Now she can get relaxed and talk about her feelings. Cause that's all she want. And if you give her a shoulder to lean on, she's going to give you a heart. That bond between a victim and her pimp makes this undercover detective's job much harder. Because they don't see themselves as victims. Detective Maurice Washington has worked hundreds of local and national trafficking and, uh, cases. This was actually one of the areas that... He says many pimps recruit online, and they practice in populated places. So just the mere thing of being, let's say, at a bus stop and striking up a conversation with someone and seeing how far along can you get. Can you get to the point that you get a phone number? Can you get to the point that you get a date? Harper stayed in the game for the fancy life and the power. The sex, the sex and the money. All I do is smoke weed and chill, sit back and crack some other broads and chill with my partner.